part of what he's arguing here, and this is something that we've already indicated before, is that the qualities are not already given in the impressions, but they only arise with that linking of subject to predicate, right? That you don't have quality until you have the linkage, right? Uh, and, and he says, and this is one of his arguments, one of his main arguments, quality seems at first sight to be given in the impression, right? That if you have impressions, then you must have qualities, right? And such results of introspection are untrustworthy, he tells us, right? Which is to say that he doesn't agree with that claim, so his claim is the opposite, that quality is not given in the impressions, right? So that's his claim, right? That's what I have up here. And you recall, this is the claim that refutes Hobbes's claim that the qualities are given in the, in the impressions because he's arguing that the common names are the basis of universals, that he's in a sense, in a sense saying that all we need to do is define these common names, and that's the key to defining language. So, the, so the qualities are in the substances, in the subjects already, right? And uh, Peirce is, is indicating no, this is not the case. So he argues this. Uh, let's see. Should we? Well, let's say let's let's go through this. So his argument. He begins with this. So I've 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 kind of laid out three reasons that he's. He splits up his reasoning into, and I kind of darkened the blue f a little bit for each next reason, right? So the first reason, a proposition asserts the applicability of immediate conception to a more immediate one. Since this is asserted, the more immediate conception is clearly regarded independently of this circumstance, for otherwise the two conceptions would not be distinguished, but one would be thought through the other without this latter being an object of thought at all. All right, so what he's saying here is that <coughs> when you're predicating something, so when you have a proposition, which is to say, like, you know, the, I mean, he goes on, actually, we'll, we'll just use his, his example, right? He's got this example of the stove is black, right? You've got the, the stove is, the stove is the immediate conception, and then is black is the immediate conception, right? And you're asserting that immediate conception, so you're asserting that the stove is black. If you're asserting that the stove is black, then it could very well be that the stove is not black, right? Because if you, if you, if you, if you need to assert it, then there is the possibility that it's not black, otherwise you would not need to assert it. And that's what he's saying by the, by the, the idea that um, the, uh, the more immediate conception, let me see, for otherwise the two conceptions would not be distinguished, but one would be thought through the other. So like, if, if if stoves are automatically black, then you wouldn't have to make the assertion. You wouldn't have to make the argument, essentially, which is the predicate. Thinking blackness would be thinking stoveness, and there wouldn't be any distinctions, and there's, there's no reason to make the proposition. So if there's a reason to make the proposition, then there's a possibility that stove's not black. There's a possibility that the proposition is false. right? If there's a possibility that the proposition is false, then it means that the blackness has to be something that's independent of the stove, and therefore it's a, it's a kind of floating kind of predicate. It could float. It could go. F it could it could attach to the stove, or it could not attach to the stove, right? So so that's then when he says. So this is the next piece. When he says in in, in the next part, he says the immediate conception. Then, in order to be asserted to be ap applicable to the other, must first be considered with re without regard to this circumstance and taken immediately. So he's saying that you have to be able, to, in order to be able to assert. Blackness is something that could apply to the stove or could not apply to the stove. Blackness has to be thought of something that's considered without regard to the stove, which is to say it has to be taken immediately, which is to say that you, blackness has to be by itself a separate thing, right? That's, that's independent of the stove, even though it's a quality, right? Then he says, but taken immediately, it transcends what is given, the more immediate conception, and its applicability to the latter is hypothetical. So that if, if you take blackness as a separate thing that could be or could not be attached to the stove, then it transcends what, it's, what is given. It transcends the stove, but it transcends anything that's given to your present. So it really becomes an abstract 
principle of blackness instead of being just the adjective black that's applied to the stove. It actually becomes a, uh, a quality that's universally applicable, right? And so this then, this, this, this predicate that can be or cannot be attached to something else, blackness, that's the origin of the universal, right? So the origin of the universal is not in defining a substance, defining the stove, but it's defining a predicate of the stove. And that's what creates a quality that could then attach or not attach to something, right? So that this is the first point where you can separate yourself from the present in general, right? If you don't have this linking to the predicate, you're always stuck in the present in general. And you're never able then to say, oh, this present could be different than it is, which is to say the stove might be black or it might not be black. So that, that, so if the stove presently is black, you still, in asserting that it's black, you're asserting that it could, you're asserting this possibility that it's not black, right? So you're actually thinking of this other present that's not your present, right? And that's what the universal does. It separates you from your immediate present, right? So this is, so you know, he's, you know, I've gone through this with his example already, right? So the way he's arguing it is with this example of the stove is black in showing us how that sentence contains within it a conception of blackness as a universal quality, right? That's not tied to a specific present, right? Uh, let's see. So, so that's his argument that basically for how it is that, that you need that linking of subject to predicate in order to have quality. Qualities then, right, so this is basically what we just said, qualities are pure abstractions. So he says the conception of a pure abstraction is indispensable, right, so that, that this, this kind of abstraction, this blackness as, as an abstraction is necessary uh, because the agreement, I mean, he has, then he says, because we cannot comprehend an agreement of two things except as an agreement in some respect, and this respect is such a pure abstraction as blackness, right? So he's saying that these qualities as pure abstractions are necessary for there to be any kind of possibility of a universal because that blackness then can assign two things to the same category. Right? So you recall with common nouns, the idea of a common noun is that you could assign all of these specific instances of trees all to the category of tree. Right? And so that's a, it's, it's an abstraction. It's abstraction from every single specific tree and saying all of them have the same characteristics that put them in the same category. And here, this is what's going on with quality. He's saying quality is what does this, is that you have blackness and then you can assign everything that's black to that category, right? And so this agreement of two things, assigning them both to the same category, can't occur unless we can define some respect with which they can agree and that respect with which in, in which they agree is the quality, right? And it's also, again, it's independent of any particular context, right? So the blackness is something then that can include all these different instances, even though some of those, inst you know, some of those instances aren't present to you uh, immediately, right? Uh, 